oh, what's this? It's Thousand Week Reich, TWR, Defectus is back in T Yes, that's right, my boy. It's my fellow, my fellow viewers. I'm back on Thousand Week Reich. And we're back just because it's finally been updated to the Barbarossa patch, but not only that, it has finally released its Russia update, uh, which you can see here, 0 0 0.3. All the Russias. You can see all the Russian tags right here. And today we'll be exploring all, all of Russia. Well, seeing what the hell is happening here, because I have not played this game, well, not actually, for a long time, so... Yeah, let's get into it. Of course, there's the Soviets. Uh, Blasov has been changed from being in the Republic to being like a socialist. Pragmatic socialist, that. Uh, Shukov is now in here. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. I think, but yeah, these guys are also ch have also been changed because last time I played, they were... Yeah, they were like an American occupation, something like that. You have these guys, which also were here. I think here was where Khrushchev was originally. Yeah, Khrushchev here. And we have a replacement for the two guys that were here. With Konev, interesting. I think, if I remember correctly, like... He has... Vasily Stalin, Stalin's son. Let me check it out. Oh yes, I think it is. <gasps> oh, I think we have actually Stalin. I think they have finally finally added that path. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna play as Vasily Stalin. <laughs> Stalin's son is going to reunite the Soviets. So, as always, we start out the game with an event detailing the situation of how we got into this mess. So, basically, we are a military offshoot of Perm that is meant to quell the Tartars and to defeat, defeat the filthy collaborators crossing over the border. And to top it all off, we have two factions fighting for control over the Okrug between Konev's Ultra Visionaries and Bashili's Ultra Vanguardists. And there will be a time where one shall stand and one shall fall. But before that happens, we still need to deal with the collaborators and the Tartars. Seeing this, it is clear that the German lapdogs are the bigger threat, so we shall act accordingly. And you know what? They need a taste of, of a bit of their own medicine. And just as they have crossed the over the border to, ob uh, to over our lands, we shall now return the favor to them. With this and many other actions taken, we have routed the BSOU and secured the border, for now at least, dealing a massive blow to the German interests in the region. But not all is said and done, as things are, appear to be out of control in Perm, with that bastard barrier being out, ousted for good, and while that's good news, this also means the new leadership will take charge of the Union, meaning their position over our fiefdom may not be so positive. Wait, what the fuck is that? Wait, is that a... Like, they... They made a building? Like, they made the Volkshalle? Shahalle? I don't know how to pronounce that thing in German. German? Yeah, that's supposed to be like the big thing Germ... Like... Mr. Schmittler wanted to build. What the? Wait, they also made one for the <laughs> for London. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wait, they made even a description for it. For like the major cities. Germania. Wait. Oh, they also put up the Colosseum. Wait, and there's like even for like saying that the Pope's here. What the? I love it. What the hell? Tokyo has one. Nanjing has a building. Okay, that's cool. Will Beijing have one? 
Yes, they, yes, they have. Uh, there's a photo of Chiang Kai Shek. Okay, that's great. After taking a look at the new 3D models, what was feared has come to pass as Perm has decided to reintegrate the Outlook as they fear a power base may pose a threat to them. As such, we must begin to mobilize and prepare for an, an inevitable conflict. A few days after the news, Perm has officially demanded the full annexation of the Outlook, but we will not surrender to those bureaucrats without a fight. Go, 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 go. We don't have time. Rush for perm. Rush for perm. Rush for perm. Go. Yes. Marshall's triumphant will. At last, it seems as our forces were successful in the race to take Perm, and now Marshal Kone parades through the city. This surely must mean the end of the conflict and the government of Perm itself, right? Wait, is that it's a three? Wait, what? It's a three-way civil war. Oh, you're gonna be shooting me. A very Soviet civil war. Oh, you get up. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. So, yeah, so much for an end to the conflict, as now Mr. Blasov wants to get involved in this three way civil war of ours. So, it's now official. We have in our hands a three way civil, three -way civil war. Just like in Spain! We need to start rushing. Rush for everything! Rush! Yes! And so, with the collapse of those bureaucrats in Perm, now, now that they are gone, we can now proclaim to be the legitimate government of Russia, or at least the Soviet Union, even with all of, all of its downsides. But first, we still need to deal with Mr. Blasov in Kazakhstan. Good thing for us, he's still at work with Turkestan, so this should be an easy task. After all, we took on the Perm government by ourselves. There we go! Yeah. Yeah, you're gone. There we go! And now, that's what we call a Blitzkrieg. Oh wait, that couldn't... Well, technically couldn't... Technically not, it's not a Blitzkrieg since... It's Russia. It's not German, so... Uh, how do you... How would you... How would you call that in... Like in Russian? Oh, this word. Lightning war, okay. That thing. <laughs> That thing that's supposed that's supposed to be lightning war in Russian. So we'll go with we'll go with that. And even more good news have come to pass, as now even the perfidious Germans are at each other's throats after the passing of old Mustache Man. This is the perfect opportunity to reunite Mother Russia. Yet there is still a dispute to end as now both of the Okrux factions have turned hostile, so it's time to settle the winner in this power struggle. There he is! Vasily Stalin! 
by Shulish Talent Sims control as Connie's when Connie's power continue to decrease the crown prince click led by Bashili Stein has successfully ousted the ultra visionaries the soon will continue his father's work Bashili Stalin has taken control of the government from Konev and as such we must start to plan the reunification of Russia while the Germans are distracted And the first target in our path is none other than Mr. Cornman himself, so it's time to put him out of his misery. But as you can imagine, finding this godforsaken lance is dreadful, so it took a bit of more time than anticipated to deal with the corn leader. Eventually he caved in and now we shall fire our nemesis in the Far East and show the world the power of the dictatorship of the proletariat over capitalism. And again, things at first looked promising, but as this is always the case with Siberia, things started going south after the initial push. Thankfully, the AI, with its all its wisdom, decided to focus on the Siberian part where there are no supplies hubs to speak of, giving us a perfect opportunity to destroy their armies there and push towards Vladivostok. But things can never be this simple, can they? As a quick explanation to why the game actually crashed. So, the US declared war on Italy, and I, I, I don't know how or why, but they just did. And they turned Italy into a transitional state, uh, and there is an event where they actually turn back to a republic, causing issues and crushing the game every single time. And as such, I tried, I tried everything I could to fix the issue, but alas, I decided to annex Italy to the UK, as Italy was not going to even do anything after being turned into a puppet republic, so... Returning to Russia, I managed to break through the republic's front line, and after that, they surrendered like the cowards they are! With the Far East finally incorporated, it was time to reunite our people and declare the Soviet Union restored. And now that we have full control of the east, it's time to start marching westwards. But we are not the only ones with the dreams of grandeur, as now this that snake that is Heydrich has claimed all of the former Reich commissariats to be his clay. So let's teach him a lesson, boys. As we reclaim more of Mother Russia, it's also time to deal with the internal issues, as Vasily will face many of the same hassles uh, 
his father faced and he will finally complete his father's work. But even then, the West's still a mess, so you know, I know, it's time for a montage. While I would have liked to continue the montage, the German madness has finally woke from his slumber, demanding all of the former Reich's commissariats at once, and while this would have been inevitable, I was now caught off of God. Still, I was not going to give Mother Russia up, so it's time for round 2 Germany. And uh, you see, I actually was really caught, uh, caught with my pants down by the Germans as I was fighting in Central Asia and thanks to the lack of supplies in the region, a part of my army was stuck fighting there with Turkestan, leaving me with almost no defenses against the German onslaught. So I, uh, I panicked and started recruiting whoever could hold a gun to defend the Soviet Union once more. Tur Thankfully, Turkestan was defeated shortly afterwards, and as such, all my attention was now on the Germans as they uh, were actually pushing deeper into Belarus thanks to those modern tanks that they have. The front stabilized near Kiev and I tried some counterattacks, but they proved ineffective. This all without mentioning the northern front thanks to the, to the Germans annexing the little city-state of Arkhangelsk before I could. Things calmed down a bit, so I used this opportunity to, tar to start offensives in the south to retake the land in the Ukraine, as well as trying to destroy some German troops and garrisons. I saw an opportunity in the north to cut off a portion of Army Group North, so I used the old Soviet tanks, and believe me, those T 34 still had some fight in them. After the destruction of the pocket, they, I actually started using player tactics. And what do I mean by this is that the AI actually started to snake around the place and actually tried to get to Leningrad or Petrograd, whatever you want to call it. Thankfully, my modern tanks were ready to be deployed and the rest of my army cut off the spearhead, but nonetheless, I was still surprised by the AI's move, so 
Good job there, AI. With that pocket done, and other major pockets done in the north, the road towards Germany was open, and as such, the long push toward Germany's defeat was at hand. Mm, this resembles uh, some event that happened in our original timeline, you know, like this pocket, this Curland pocket, if you may call it. Mm, yeah, that reminds me of something. But even with all of the pain and suffering, we are still merciful and we shall grant a place for all the Germans to live after doing some population re relocation. Yeah, Germany, I don't think that was really a good idea to invade me. The collapse of Germany was imminent, as the defenses back in Germany were decimated, and with a fraction of their entire army stuck and starving to death in northern Russia, Germany's last breath was coming to a close. Oh, we took Berlin. Um, there wasn't even an event for that. Um, huh. Oh well. So what the hell I just did? Liberated German... Liberated German Socialist Republic. And where are you? Soviet Republic. Okay. Oh, and remember the population exchange plans? Well, I think it's actually time to start putting them in motion. But first, let's send the German state and take revenge for the suffering of all our people. Yakosop, you guys, you guys, Billy, wait. Is he like the other brother? Yeah, because Stalin had two sons, right? He's Stalinist. Stalinism, yeah. Ah, oh, he's Stalinist, huh? Interesting. And yeah, past the fact is that was actually indeed Stalin's first son, who actually had a tragic life. First, when he tried to commit the, the you know, the, the, the oof, and, and when he failed, Stalin stated, you couldn't even do, do this properly. And later in his life, he would be captured by the Germans, and when they supposedly tried to exchange him for Friedrich Paulus, which was the field marshal that was stuck in Stalingrad, it is said that Stalin well, mentioned, I will not trade off Marshall for a lieutenant. Oh well, returning from a uh, reading a tragic life to the game, Germany was now on its last legs. And finally, they would surrender, marking the end of the Second Soviet German War. Mere days after the plans were set into motion, but I will leave my reaction to them for later. Oh, oh shit! You, <laughs> oh shit! Um, basically you deport all the Germans. Holy shit! Oh, okay then. Uh, um, okay. Moscow Red Army. What? 
Why is he the Moscow year? Uh, uh, okay then. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay then. First on our priority list was to rebuild the great cities of the motherland that were taken by, Ger by the German influence and maybe even some more as compensation for the atrocities they made to our people. Oh, but we're not done yet, as we still have some enemies to deal with, so we can create our Iron Curtain. And as such, we have reached the end of this campaign, but I promised my reaction to all of the plans as I didn't realize what those decisions of, you know, the population did afterwards. Wait, I only just noticed, like, all of these people are going to the, uh, to these republics. So they're basically, we're just sending everyone to, like... <laughs> To this, sh like, these little places, to these shitty little places, oh my god. <laughs> okay then. Wait, only, yeah, that's true. Like, look at the population go up. Like, we're just sending every single German that live, like, in here, like, in the, the Rashi's Commissariats. We're sending them here, all to live here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh god, what the hell. And also we're still sending, like, the rest of the locals, like, living here, we're just sending them to here, like, to this place, oh my god. And to show our benevolence, we shall reunite the Germans with, under a single government, a government controlling Germany proper and a random ass province in Kazakhstan where all of the German settlers uh, were sent. Yeah, not, not the best fate. And also, let's make a faction that would make Papa Stalin proud. And so that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this return to TWR as much as I did. This was the Factus Expert. You are dismissed, soldier.